Sonic P135 here again, what the heck you want to call me. And today we got another unboxing for you guys today. Today I'm feeling super duper happy because um, my dad um, sent me a package filled with, you know, some goodies for me and my sisters. And the, my stuff that I got, well, I did get Super Shadow again, but I felt like he didn't know, so that's okay. And... What really makes me happy that he sent me the rest of Wave 2 of the, not Wave 2, um, Wave 4 of Jack's specific Sonic action figures. So we got Classic Sonic! Oh, this is so cool! Um, the Flying Tails that comes with the spring accessory. Um, Knuckles with the blue Chaos Emerald. And I also got... Something else, the, um, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Stars, Krillin action figure. Uh, we will do an unboxing of this guy somewhere around this week. But we're gonna do these guys first because these are, like, my favorite things in the world. Thank you, Dad, if you're watching this video. First off, we're gonna start off with, in my opinion, the worst release of this wave being S Spinning Tails Tails. The reason... I think this is the worst one because he comes with the same accessory, same spring accessory that the Sonic comes with. So yeah. So yeah. 12 points of articulation. Yeah. So let's open him up and see what he's like. Before we get into the figure itself, here's the spring accessory. Let's compare it to the um, spring that Sonic comes with. So yeah. Yeah. Same paint. Same detail. So, yeah, pretty sloppy move on Jax's part. So, here's the figure itself. It kind of, I think it kind of took longer for me um, to get this guy out of the box than the first Tails is because, well, thanks to the Tails. One complaint I do have, well, at least on my Tails, that his pink paint, you know, in his mouth is bleeding onto his white fur in the, um, on the, um, paint job, so, yeah, comparing this Tails to the old Tails, it's pretty much the exact same figure, just with different Tails, and with the same accessory Sonic comes with from the same wave, so, yeah, I would per personally per prefer to buy the Wave 2 Tails, because, instead of this Tails, because, that Tails from Wave 2 comes with a different accessory, so yeah. This is still a good figure with good articulation, but it was kind of sloppy on Jax's part. Next figure we're going to be unboxing is the re-release Knuckles. So here's his box, here's the blue Chaos Emerald. Um, same thing as the first Knuckles, so let's open him up and do a recap. Before we get into the figure itself, um, let's look at the accessory, which this time it's the blue Chaos Emerald. Sure, it's the same sculpt as the other two Chaos Emeralds, but I like this one better because it's blue, my favorite color. Here is the Knuckles figure itself, and yeah, in my opinion, it has a better re better paint job on the, on, you know, like the shoes. On this on mine on the fourth way than my first one over there. However, it does lose some points for a more sloppy paint job. I don't know if you can see that, but focus. Like there is actually some paint error on his glove, which is kind of unfortunate. Sucks too, cause this is an awesome knuckles figure. Okay, the camera does not want to focus on this guy. Oh, there we go. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah. Compared to, like, the first Knuckles, yeah, it is the exact same figure. But this guy does have a little bit of a better paint job. So, yeah, that's why I got this guy, because this one has a better paint job than my first one over there. So, yeah. And the last figure we'll be unboxing today is the, um classic sonic figure with the red classic spring here's the back right here it says okay 
the world's fastest blue hedgehog, which it does with the modern figure. Sonic will run at ultra high speeds and can curl up to a into a spiky ball to protect himself and attack enemies. So, different vocabulary than on the modern Sonic with the classic Sonic. So, let's open him up and see what he's like. And we will we'll be comparing him to the um, 5 inch classic Sonic from Jazz Wars. So, let's -a go. I mean, let's go it. Let's do it to it. Before we get into the figure itself, here is the red classic spring, which is the same spring for the Green Hill Zone playset, but it's red, so yeah, that's a big difference. And here is the classic Sonic figure itself, and I gotta say, it's pretty good. When I saw pictures of this guy, I kind of knew the articulation on this guy is pretty much on point. So yeah, now it's time to compare it to the Jazz Wars Classic Sonic, and I like this Sonic way better because um, it has a brighter shade of light blue. This one is more dark blue, and it look and it's more lively. What I mean because he has some expression, you know. I know it kind of looks weird to see that, but hey, what's wrong with trying something new? Because this figure, in my opinion, looks kind of lifeless compared to this figure. So, yeah. However, this one does have some more points f because it has more articulation. And it's actually proportionate to the 5-inch um, Sonic from the same line, Modern Sonic. Which, this Sonic compared to this Sonic, um, yeah, not so much. But... Again, it's not the worst thing in the world. But this guy does have a little bit better quality control than the Jazz Wars figure. And actually has some ball joint um, hands and feet. So, yeah. I like this Sonic more. I'm just giving out my opinion. Everyone does have different opinions. So, yeah. Alright guys, before I go away, I want to rank these figures. From best to worst. The best, in my opinion, is Super Shadow because I've been actually wanting a Super Shadow figure from Jack Specific, and now we finally have him. Sure, he's a repaint of Shadow, but Shadow, Super Shadow is usually a recolor of Shadow anyway, so yeah. Classic Sonic is second place because um, it's a it's a whole new figure, and he comes with a pretty good accessory. Knuckles gets third place because it's still an awesome Knuckles figure, and it comes with a different Chaos Emerald. But Jack Specific, we are begging you, no more re-releases of certain characters. Unless a character doesn't have a re-release in a long time. Re-release, I mean. Um, like Shadow. If you want to re-release Shadow... Besides giving him a different accessory, give him a different head sculpt and different hands. And so, yeah, just throwing that out there. The worst one is the flying tails, simply just for having the same accessory as the first Sonic. But that is just my opinion. All right, that is it. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And don't worry, I will do that unboxing of the Dragon Stars Krillin. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell of notifications. That way you will never miss a video from me. Alright, adios!